whispering and slow speaking, so I'm going to do half of each. The video is going to be half of whispering, half soft speaking. That way, everybody can get something out of this. But I wanted to do a whispering video because uh, people have been asking me for a while to do it, and I haven't really done it. So, I'm going to do a big part of the video with that. But I can't do it too long because whispering for a long time is irritating to the voice. So, yeah. So, I'm going to get right in your ear. <laughs> so, did you have a really nice day today? I hope you did. I'm actually going recite a lyric from The Nightmare Before Christmas, which I freaking love. I like Jack the best. Obviously, I mean, who doesn't? But I like the songs in the movie because it's like kind of like poetry. And I'm not really a huge poetry fan. Somewhere deep inside of these bones, an emptiness began to grow. The fame and praise come year after year, does nothing for these empty tears. sing that better with like the deep tone kind of voice thing um, but whispering made it a little difficult but I just like the, the lyric it's just interesting anyway okay um, so I guess I'll just talk about my channel a little bit while I do this whispering So, when you see somebody that you adore doing something, in this case, 
helping the community or not just the community people that are watching um the content from us like could be anybody uh, and it's great to see all these people from different areas uh, work together and talk about a common cause um, as for the people that are in the video I get anybody that's interested you'll see more people that you probably haven't heard of as much uh, as opposed to somebody who's really well known in the community because either they're really busy or sad to say that they don't want to be involved in projects like these unless it's with somebody that's really popular um, this is the same thing with famous people athletes or actors or whatever that they prefer to be with other people of their status or whatever you want to call it but anyway pretty much anybody that wants to help me with this has been telling me so um, it's gonna be another community cares video coming up uh, if you didn't like the first one then don't bother watching um, but if you did if, if, if it applies to you or not you're just interested uh, check it out I'm hoping to get it out within the month um, maybe sooner because everyone seems really on board with it so if someone's really into it you're gonna get you know the video quicker than you would in the other case so yeah that's the story just wanted to do a quick whisper ramble soft speaking ramble thing um, I'll throw in some sounds and stuff too If you're new to my channel and you're still watching, uh, thank you for joining and supporting my channel. Um, it means a lot. Um, I try to be as unique as possible. Um, a lot of people enjoy my oddball, <laughs> strange things that I do. Um, and a lot of people, they're just here for the ASMR aspect of it, and they don't like a lot of my content. Um, and that's fine, you don't have to like what I do. Um, if you want to unsubscribe because of something I put up, uh, go right ahead. It doesn't bother me. Um, it's just a shame that people are so um, I don't know what's the word like single minded or whatever where they come to your channel for just ASMR um, I understand that a lot of people want just ASMR but to me you kind of want to feel like you're a part of that creator's life if you will um, because if you like the creator not just because of their content but because of who they are that's that's great and I hope all my uh, viewers um, enjoy me not just for my content but for who I am um, which sounds really corny and weird but uh, it's true with anybody really um, you should enjoy them for who they are and not just like what they do or something like that um, Some of which have been on my channel and I've been on their channel um, To me people that make ASMR videos are more Personable if you want to put it that way. They're more gentle. I'm not saying every content creator are because there's a lot of conspiracies or um, things going on with certain people in the community uh, I mean I, don't, I try not to follow that kind of stuff because 
it's kind of petty some of these things but anyway um, there's a lot of great people in the community both popular and not popular so um, and I think the people that are less popular not always tend to be more um, I want to say not laid back but have more values I guess that they're more grateful for what they get so like if somebody reaches like a thousand subscribers they get really excited and that's great but somebody who has like a hundred thousand subscribers it's just like oh just another thousand it's no big deal but like when they reach a thousand subscribers they get really excited and it's like it's good for them that they they were able to reach this milestone you know Kudos to those people. Uh, and I know a lot of people tell me about my own channel that I should have more subscribers than I do, but I guess that's the way it is. Uh, some people are just more lucky that way. But uh, it's not about subscribers most of the time. It's about like doing what you like and enjoying every minute of it. And even if you don't have a lot of subscribers and you met like, let's say, 10 other creators and you've formed a bond with them like that's something special that you can carry with you you know what I mean so there's always something good out of it and if you enjoy some more videos you know join the group of us um, there's a lot of us out there and there can always be more um, same thing with any kind of content like comedy or whatever because everybody has their own way of doing things and even though they may use the same sounds um, repeatedly a lot you get a different persona a different personality and a different look to each person that's involved you know if you have 400 subscribers or 400,000 or 4,000 like around what I have or 40,000 or whatever um, you know, it's a different person. And you can watch 10 content creators, not just for their content, but also for, you know, the person. So you'd be like, oh, let me check out this person. Oh, I like that person. Oh, let me check out this person. You know, I like that person too. And try to, people, content creators try to respond to everybody. Um, generally for me, um, if I don't respond to your comment or whatever, it's not because like I'm ignoring you because either I forget to or honestly, I don't really upload the video and then I don't really check it a lot. Like I'll check it like a week later and be like, oh, okay, I got this many views or whatever. Usually I check it when I upload the next video. <laughs> I just wanted to do a quick uh, quick whispering soft peeking video um, and a little information so I will see you in another video um, look forward to some future collaborations some of which I have planned some of which I want to get started uh, it would be great to be on a more popular channel not for like the publicity just because it's just something that is cool to do a video with somebody that's just well known you know somebody that I look up to or originally watched when I started um, I think I've come a long way since I began over three years ago because if you saw my comedy video where I'm watching my old videos you can see like there's a huge difference between when I started and uh, where I am now. The experience and the equipment that I use have really improved. Um, and I think I've become somewhat better. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Oh, also, before I go real quick, um, for the viewer's choice thing, 
Um, I'm not going to be doing it all the time. Um, I'm going to come back to it every once in a while. So that's the story with that. So if you haven't, you haven't seen one in probably like a month or something like that. It's not because I'm like, I'm done. It's because I want to do other videos too. A lot of times something will come up in my head and I'll be like, I want to do that or something like that. But whatever. So yeah, that's the story. And also, if you're still watching, what do you think of my backdrop? I might not use it in every video, but I think it's really cool. It's a photography um, paper, so it doesn't glare. So it looks pretty cool. So, you know, that's the story with that. So. Uh, I will log off, and I'll see you in another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't.